Busters are putting miracle gas cures to the test. Faster pickup getaway, more miles per gallon than you ever dreamed were possible. But they're not doing well. Their carburetor car scored zero for three. Nothing improved its mileage. So they swapped to the more modern fuel-injected car. Some of the mythical cures will supposedly work better on a more modern car. But unfortunately, neither the magnets... This is such total horse... <laughs> nor the acetone mixture increase mileage at all. It's not like it magically changes lead into gold or something like that. You know, it's, it, it, it's a no-brainer. All the magical cures so far have failed to improve fuel efficiency, and some have even made it worse. But is anyone really that surprised? Look, the EPA takes claims of fuel efficiency very seriously and has tested over 100 devices for their improvements. Yeah, out of 104 that they tested, only about seven showed any improvement at all, and it was only up to about 6%. Well, your mood can affect your driving a hell of a lot more than 6%. Yeah, studies have shown that you can reduce your mileage by up to around 33% by aggressive driving due to, you know, bad mood. Do you actually have moods? No. Back at the dyno, the cars have been swapped around for one final test, the pièce de résistance. This is the one that I've been waiting for. This is the, uh, the water car hydrogen fuel cell. And this is the one that, if it works, is making this one of the most legendary hours of television ever broadcast. They're about to see if they can run a car on flammable hydrogen gas produced by electrolysis. This is the instructions on the patent, that you bolt the output of the fuel cell right to the throat of your carburetor. There will be no gasoline, just hydrogen fed straight into the carburetor. But will the car even start? We're making history. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God is right. The car is working. But sadly, it's not because of the hydrogen. Oh, I think that was a little bit of residual fuel in the system. What do you think? <laughs> I think that's the case. It wasn't a miracle. Just some leftover gasoline in the engine. I'm going to turn it over again. Let's give it another shot. <laughs> Come on! All right. My God! It doesn't work. I can't believe it doesn't work. I found it on the Internet, man. The electrodes are just not giving off enough gas. But to test whether a car could even run on hydrogen in the first place, the boys are going to hose some directly into the carburetor. Ready? Yeah, OK, here we go. <laughs> OK. OK. That's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I guess you could. If you had a lot of hydrogen, run your engine completely without any other modifications. Let's do it again. <laughs> you know there's going to be trouble when it's all going so well. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that test. <laughs> With a rather nasty backfire, it's time to back out. I think it's best if we just let it go. In the myth of exploding trousers, the herbicide...